Hmm. No, I don't think I want to do that. You could take an action to swim. Um, or bathe would be an action. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go for a bath. Drink it would be an action. Um, so what I think I'm going to do... Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 25 feet. So I... And I'm assuming the this starts sloping down like right there. Yeah, it goes... Uh, the first little ridge is goes down about 10 feet. And then another ridge, as you're looking in there... Um, I assume I wouldn't be able to see the actual middle. Actually, yeah, yeah. There's so many bats flying around in there. You're having a hard time getting any kind of judging what's what's going on. Um, it it does appear to be sunken in the center. That's obviously where bats have flown out of. Um, but you're not getting a real good sense of much of what's going on in there. You can see most of the people are laying as flat on the ground as possible to stay out of the bats that are just all over the entire cavern. And then the cavern's probably... Do they give us a height? I think it's 10 feet, right? Most well, of the... the, there's 10-foot ledges, and then it goes up another 10 feet. So oh, the, okay. the whole thing might be a 20-foot cavern with some 10-foot ledges in there, very similar to how the outside cavern looks. So at, at what height are the bats? Like... Can I see all under? heights? The so whole I, the whole thing's filled. So I can't see under them. You, I mean, you're seeing some of the people that are hiding and huddling and and laying on the ground, but they're okay. being uh, hit with bats and the bats fly off them and and there's just it's just like a, a mass of bats, thousands and thousands of bats. All right, so I want to find the biggest boulder or rock that I can find uh, that I can throw. 15 feet or roll under throw underhand 15 feet under the bats or as under the bats as I can get so I want to basically throw it down the hole but I want to get it at least to the edge here um, so that it'll roll down okay um let's do a hmm Let's see if you find it first. So let's do just, I guess, a, a perception check. You're, you're searching around, see if you can find anything near you that fits what you're looking for. Uh, 15. 15. Yeah, yeah, you're able to find a, a pretty good size rock. Um, like baseball size, are you looking for? Are you going bigger than that? Um, hopefully bigger, um, like bowling ball. Okay, so you find a bowling ball size kind of rock, um, kind of near the stalagmites. If you're going to try to throw it 30 feet, or at least 15 to 20 feet, you're going to have to make a pretty pretty good strength roll. So let's have a, a strength toss. Uh, I only want it to go 15 feet, just to the edge. Yeah, yeah. But, okay. Yep, um, let's see what you get. Uh, I have not used my instrument. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh, Alright, strength, strength, strength. <laughs> no! It, it, it gets to the edge, and it does not roll over. How close is it to this person here? Uh, I would say... Uh, just draw maybe here. I'm going to put it All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to yell at this person here. Uh you you and wait until I I'm assuming that that person is going to look at me when I yell that. Um let's check. Now I can see that better. Um, 
Um, let's find out. There's, the bats are making a ton of noise. The people are covering their heads as best they can. Uh, let's see if she recognizes you trying to get her attention. <clears throat> All right, one more roll. Uh, actually, it's her. Oh, her, okay. <clears throat> nope, does not recognize you're talking to her. Stupid human. All right. <clears throat> okay, Ian. Um, is that... That would be my action, right? To throw that? Action was the searching, finding a rock, throwing it. Yeah. You used okay. your movement. Yeah, the only thing you have at this point is the bonus. Um, if there was something that you had. No, I don't. I'm going to... I'm going to dodge. Can I do that as a bonus? No, I can't. Um... Maybe yeah. on later levels, but I don't think you No, I'm just going to stay here. Okay. All right. Uh, goblins are up. So... Let's see. We definitely have uh, two arrows that are going to come at... Dwarf. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so definitely two arrows are coming to the dwarf. So That's giant dwarf off. to you. Giant, yeah, og, og, ogre dwarf. <laughs> so first one, uh, nine. So that's a miss. And second one, fourteen. Uh, they currently have advantage on me. All right. Uh, do they? For what? Did I say that in the text? For my frenzy. When I take that extra oh, attack yeah. on each of your turns. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, wait. That's my reckless attack. My first attack of my turn, I have advantage. But then they have uh, advantage against me until my next turn. Okay. So a 13 and a 15. Either one of those hit. 15 hits. All right, so for eight piercing damage. Uh, one goblin, it pokes out, sees Tigre trying to crouch and hide, is going to fire at him. And he's firing from a hidden position. You see him as he kind of pops out, so he gets advantage on the attack. Got disadvantage if he's doing range and I'm prone. Okay, so it cancels out then. Yep. Yeah. So 16. Uh, I'm sh uh, will that hit mage armor? I don't remember if you have mage armor. 16 will hit mage armor, but I will use a shield reaction spell to make it require a 21. Oh, okay. Yeah. So uh, an arrow flies into. Uh, remind us what the what that looks like when the arrow hits your hits your shield. What's it actually look like? Um, it kind of looks like um, almost like impacting a bubble shield. So it kind of like flares translucent blue where it impacts and it bounces off. Okay, awesome. And then uh, as a bonus action, our goblin will then hide again. Um, one other goblin. You actually, you would have seen the goblin that shot at you. Oh, but are you using your reaction for the shield instead of reaction to attack him? Um, yeah, I don't think holding an action is a reaction thing, is it? It might be, though. Yeah, that's a good I'll check question. on it. No, well, I'm just wondering of the timing of you casting your held spell and then your reaction. Um, that's a good point. Uh, 
Uh, I'll let you cast. I think I think that's a regular action. I think the way they do held spells is that you cast it and hold it until you release it. So that would be. Did you specify a spell though? I don't think you did. Uh, Firebolt. Oh yeah, you did tell me Firebolt. Yeah, so I think Firebolt would go off. I think what what happens is is you see him, and the arrow is leaving the bow, and in that second, your Firebolt then leaves your hand because you're kind of ready for it. And then, in the space of the arrow getting to you, your reaction is the shield. Okay, so... so... I think that's okay. I think that sounds right. And he's got what cover? Yeah, he's got three-quarters cover. Okay, so that's plus five AC. Yeah. So the odds of this being are fairly low. And really low. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you hit the stalagmite to the right of him, and it kind of glows red for a moment, and then dissipates all right cool all right um and then you do notice that he kind of hides again um back in the stalactite or stalagmite area here we have another one who's going to fire from the edge as he steps Uh, which way is he gonna go What's your passive perception, Jarl? 14. Yeah, so he's gonna fire at you. It's going to be advantage, and then you're going to see him. He'll be out of hiding as the arrow leaves the bow. And he's firing from within the stalagmites at you. So he rolls 18. Five piercing damage of hits. All right. I am going to use a reaction. Deflect missile. Sweet. Uh, so I'm going to roll a d10. Plus my dexterity. For how much was it? Uh, five piercing. Okay, so it reduces it to zero. So um, I'm going to, just because I've never done it before, um, I'm going to spend a key point, and I'm going to catch it, and I'm going to throw it right back in its face. That's awesome. All right. Um, what's the range of you throwing? Uh, it's the same ra- uh, It's a range... Uh, missile counts as a monk weapon for the attack, which has a normal range of 20 feet and a long range of 60. All right, so it's a long range throw. Uh, long range of 60 would be a disadvantage, right? Yeah. So yeah. Well, anything over 20, I think, is going to be disadvantage. Under 20 would be regular. And he's got partial, no, just a tiny bit of cover. I'm only giving him a quarter cover. Oh, I see. Yeah. So yeah. he's only gonna get plus two. All right. So uh, I need to go with uh, Just a range of that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've never had to do this. Uh, other than dark. Yeah, I think it's a range of that. So I'm just gonna do that. Yeah, well, I have proficiency. Attack. I have proficiency with it. Let me try this. That would be a nine. So, okay. uh, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, so it rolled a four, it added three, and added two, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so it, it looks like it added the right bonuses then. Yeah, unfortunately, a nine does not strike him, but it does scare the crap out of him that you just threw zero right back at him. Good. He's going to, because of that, he was just going to hide and continue to fire at you. But now that you've thrown an arrow back at him, he's going to use the rest of his movement. Uh, And he's already used five, so we'll go. He 
be five, and he's going to rehide as a bonus action in amongst these uh, stalagmites. Okay. Um, we have one guy left who's over in the... Uh, he's not hidden. You've seen him. He's the guy that shot at you last time. He's going to fire his bow. Regular attack at you. Short bow. Rolled a 20 uh, for 8 piercing damage. At me? Yes. <laughs> Man. Bunch of chickens. Um, well, you have a giant dwarf on your side. Yeah, I don't think I can use that again. So yeah, that hits. Uh, I think it's yeah one reaction per turn. I think is what we yep we found out. Yeah. Man, they're rolling high. Good lord. For how much? Eight piercing damage in your shoulder. All right. All right. Uh, oh, I can remove. Nod, who's our ogre, so you're no longer in the turn. Brings us to Armel. Oh, that's a lot different than map Um, you technically don't see. What's your passive perception? Yeah, you do not see the two with the ninja symbols. You do see the ones on the um, ledges that are 10 feet up. So you see two on 10 feet ledges probably from that point and possibly one more. Do you see a third one up, up a little further north? Uh, no. Okay. Well, it might be out of range. Uh, is, is passive perception going to be considered less than my... Usually is. You can actively. Oh no! Wait you, a second. You can roll a perception. Now nah, hold on. My passive wisdom is not passive wisdom in parentheses perception. It yeah. should be on your character sheet. There should it's, be a spot for it. It's fifteen. Okay. Yeah, you still don't see those two. All right. But well, I can't see any ninja symbols on anything anyway. Okay. So how far have you moved so far? That was 15. All right. That's 45. All right, that's it. Okay. Greybeard is up. You have a couple of ogres laying next to you. Am I correct? And I see no enemies currently. That's probably true. You see bodies. How can I see this guy and he can't? Which guy? The guy that I'm looking at on the ledge. There's a stalagmite next to you. Oh, you think that, that's blocking his view? Um, yeah, I can see you, yeah. All right. Uh, so the viewers can see what he's seeing. Yeah, that's being blocked. Do I have any extra... I read the enlarge, but I don't have any extra movement, even though I'm much bigger. No, I don't even... I mean, the ogres are the same size as you, and they only had a... I think they had a 40 feet, maybe, a 30 feet. They All didn't right, have is, anything special. Is the mud pit difficult terrain? Yes. All right. So you'll use half... You'll, you'll use double the amount to move through it. So if it's a five-foot square, you use 10 to get through it. You can try and jump it, right? You can do jumps. I think that's an action. And you need a, I believe you also need a run up to it. Like you need 
10 feet of run up to make a jump, I believe. Yep. I was just reading that the other night because we, after we had jumped the crevasse in another campaign, I was wondering how that worked. I assume I don't have reach? No. Alright, I chuck a javelin at this goblin. And you can't actually end up there. You're in, uh, in the wolf's square. Okay. He's a big, he's a big dire wolf. He's taking up uh, two squares there. I mean, you can move through him, but you can't, you can't stop there and do an action in his same square. And what's your passive perception? Maybe you might see somebody else, but what's your passive perception? It's, you know, all those scores are my high ones. Nine. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you, you see one guy over on the ledge. I mean, over here. And from there, you can see the other guy. Those are probably the two you see. All right, since I since I can see them, I am going to chuck a javelin at this guy up here. Okay. Yeah, Ooh. crit hit even. Impale him. Javelin rage. <laughs> Add your 1d4. Stuck to a stalagmite. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're gonna do. Yep, that's enough too. So go ahead and tell us how uh, how this poor goblin dies. I'm, I like, and I slog through the mud, and there's mud flinging off my giant now giant hobnail boots, and I'm like, and I one of my javelins which is now spear sized and it wonk, it goes straight through him his eyes wide and he's like stuck to the wall all right yeah and the, yeah this it's funny because of the size of your hand and the size of the spear are disproportionate now and that is a death nicely done All right, any other actions or movement? Uh, I you, you said I could see a second one? Uh, you should be able to. I can see it on the screen. There's another one up. It, everybody's names on my map are covering him. So, okay. All right, I, uh, I will indeed then. Yeah, everybody's, my... Well, you can move that turn order. Yeah, you can slide it anywhere in the window. It's not the turn order, it's our actual names. For whatever reason, I can't... They don't run along the bottom of my roll 20, they run along the side, and I can't move them. I tried before we set up today. Yeah, hey, you clever DM. Hmm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah, Chuck, uh, I'll... Uh, because I mean, the... I'm all for you not, uh, not killing a, my goblin, but... <laughs> Because of the frenzy, I'll chuck a second a javelin. All right, so it's a bonus action. You can throw a second one? Yep. Okay. Are you sure that's not just melee? That's also ranged? Whilst raging, you may make a single... Ooh, hold on. Because I'm not sure. Melee, atta melee attack as a bonus action. Yeah, so, so it's somebody that's around you. Yeah. I can't do that. All right. All right. That brings us to the top of the order. Ian, with her awesome internet. Awesome. Hopefully it's back. Hopefully the wind has stopped messing everything up. Uh, and so I so real quick, we're going to yeah. take our first break before you go. All right, cool. <laughs> 